Hey guys, Ashley with Techno Buffalo here. I have had a very long week at E3, but I did get to spend time today back in the office with Microsoft Office for iOS. It's new, it's exciting, uh, but it, it's also a little bit basic. So let's take a look at how straightforward Microsoft Office for iOS is. So here it is, Office Mobile. We have the icon here ready to go. It's iOS ready, and here is our Office. When you open this for the first time, you'll actually be prompted to log in with your Office 365 account, uh, which we've already done. And now we have a few different things. So these three demos are on SkyDrive, so they're available to us to check out. And then we also have some sample documents available by default in Office uh, for iOS. So let's uh, let's take a look at everything. So if we have a Word document, you can see we've got something open. It's got images. You can actually comment on things if you want. Um, if you hit the edit button here, uh, you're now able to edit. So if I wanted to change anything, I could do that. Um, but if not, that's okay. Uh, but nice collaboration. You can comment on things, so you can make notes, which is always a nice thing to have when you are collaborating on a document. Uh, and if you want to go to outline view or find something, you just tap on that eyeball there. And of course, if we want to share, save, or save as, if we wanna make a duplicate, we can do that in the file options. Uh, but pretty basic, not a whole lot going on in terms of uh, extra functionality. I mean, you're not going to have a full uh, formatting uh, table here, uh, which is a little frustrating. Um, you can, of course, save changes, cancel, whatever you wanna do. Um, we'll just save them and get out of here. Uh, so here's the save screen and you can name it whatever you want. And once we hit done, it will connect us back to the main page of Office for iOS and you'll see it'll start refreshing and then here's our file right here. So it's downloaded from SkyDrive right now, but if we wanted to remove it from our device, we could just do that and now it will uh, go away, which is always very, very nice if you don't want any clutter. Uh, here is the Excel spreadsheet. This is the sample that we have. Uh, you can see, you can zoom out if you want to get a better view of what's going on. Of course, you have your different tabs here. Um, all the same stuff that you would see inside Excel for desktop, just a little bit more compact. So here are some different options available to us on editing tools. You can format, you can do an auto sum if you're doing something that has to do with math, like an invoice. And also you have viewing tools. Uh, you can sort your different columns. You can apply a filter, find all that great stuff. And of course our file options, share, save, save as. Uh, we haven't really changed anything, so hopefully it won't ask us if we want to save. Yeah, great. And now lastly, uh, there is PowerPoint sample presentation. So here it is right here. Uh, you can actually swipe through and look at the different slides and what the notes are on them. Um, if you'd like to add notes, you can do that just by tapping. It's really simple. You can also see a full zoomed out view of all of your slides. You can go to any particular slide. You can edit you can move a slide, hide a slide, or edit the slide text. This one doesn't have text, these are uh, graphics right here, but if it did, you'd be able to do that. Uh, if we go to the one previously, we should be able to edit the uh, text here. So here's the text. Uh, very simple, unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like you can control transitions uh, or anything like that um, inside this particular editing of the sample presentation. Uh, if we wanted to uh, make a new document, we could do Word or Excel, but you'll notice no PowerPoint. So you cannot actually create a PowerPoint uh, document or presentation from iOS, uh, which is kind of a bummer. But honestly, I think if you're using PowerPoint for a presentation, you probably wouldn't want to make a full presentation on your phone. Uh, but it is nice to be able to just go in and edit those presentations. They also have some templates available, agenda, outline, and report. And then on Excel, budget, event schedule, mileage tracker, making it really easy to do something that is, uh, if you want to share something that's a little bit more used uh, very often. So here's our settings, really basic. You can reset it, help and support about terms of service, privacy, and improve office. That's it. There's uh, 
not a whole lot of stuff going on here. It's pretty basic, uh, but generally speaking, it is really nice to be able to collaborate with Office and Office 365. So if you have an office that uses Microsoft and the Office Suite, uh, this can come in very handy. And I'll be checking it out a little bit more to see if there are any deeper options. But as of right now, it doesn't quite look like uh, there's much more to it than that. So that is Microsoft Office for iOS. It's Pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but also pretty useful if you use the Office Suite.